Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can let some of the details in your sketch fade into the page. Let me show you some examples to show you what I'm talking about. These are two sketches that I drew in Barcelona a few years ago. They are actually of the same post office. And I want to show you this sketch on the left first. So if you take a look at this sketch, you might notice that there are a lot of details here and not so much details here. And if you actually look closer, I represented the windows with these boxes here. Not much detail. However, if you look at the windows here, you can actually see the frames, the indentation and other little details. But here, not so much. And as you move down to the bottom here, I actually stopped drawing the windows. And also as I move towards the background here, you can see that the windows, they are almost gone. And same thing here, the lines, basically they just stop here as well as the color. So there are more windows on the right side, but I chose to stop here just to have it gradually fade into the page. So now when you look at this sketch, you will notice uh, this area more than this area. And that's the same that is applied to this drawing here as well. So if you take a look at this side of the wall here, there are actually windows. So as I drew from left to right, I stopped drawing the windows. So here you can just see these vertical lines here. And I also stopped using the colors here. And right here in the background, that is another building from another street. But I chose to draw that only in a white silhouette. So people can just uh, look at the lines and know that there is a building there, but they won't be able to see anything. Let me show you another example. This is from my Vietnam sketchbook. I want you, I want you to see this example. Same thing here. I chose not to draw the details outside, from, outside of this temple because I just want people to focus on this temple. And for the temple, I added colors to contrast it against the background. Actually, the background is very busy. There are a lot of buildings, a lot of windows there as well. Let me flip over to the page. You can use that for drawing people as well. So for the people that are closer to me, I drew them out with more details. But for people who are in the background, who are smaller, I will just draw their head and maybe the neck, the shoulders area and just fade the rest into the white of the paper. You can see that here too. This is a sketchbook from Cambodia. This is Uncle Wat. This is a black and white sketch. I use water soluble graphite for this. Same thing, I drew a lot of detail here. However, for this, in this case, I let the details just fit into the white of the paper. Um, this is not done on purpose. The reason why I do this is because it was getting really dark and I wasn't able to finish the sketch. So I left, I left this portion black. Now on hindsight, I probably might want to go in to add in some uh, lighter details here, but not as much as this area, just to have a gradual fade to the detail. So right now, as I'm looking at this sketch, I feel that the transition is a bit abrupt so um, that's something you to take note of sometimes you just want a gradual fit instead of an abrupt fit like this before i get into the demonstration i want to show you this book by fabrice moreau rooftops of paris there are a lot of examples when it comes to fading into the white of the paper take a look at this particular sketch this is a pencil and watercolor sketch look at all the details here and look at all the details that are outside of the sketch so he basically drew everything in detail here and then for the edges of the drawing not so much detail so here you can see the windows he stopped drawing the windows here and just basically let it fade into the white same thing here for the building there isn't any vertical line for this building even which is quite interesting now when I look at it. So these two buildings are similar but here no vertical line and it just fade into the white. Same thing for this example. 
the colors, the details are here, but here you see that he stops drawing the roof lines, stops drawing the windows, and here he stops coloring. This is a more gradual transition. Here you have details and color, here you just have the details, and here you don't have much detail. This is a gradual fade. Here's a drawing that I drew based on this photo reference behind. Take a look at some of the differences. In this area, I have faded out the details. Here you can see the windows have grills. But here you just see a rectangle box and the next box is not even closed up. And this box here, this last one, is represented by two lines. And if you take a look at this sheltered area, I left it open as well, so it just fade into the white of the paper. Same thing applies for the roof. And this area here is very dark, so I did not complete my drawing here. I just let it fade into the white of the paper. Later on, I'm just going to color it black. And on the left side of this reference, you see a lot of shop houses in the back. Here I represented the shop houses with very thin lines. The lines here are actually thinner compared to the lines here. Also the windows for these shop houses, they are just represented by single strokes of vertical line. And the background here, the ground floor is a bit dark so I went in to uh, make it a bit darker. But I'm not going to color this, I'm just going to be color coloring this main building. So um, let's start the coloring process. I'm going to start with the lighter colors first. So I'm going to start with yellow. This is permanent yellow from Mission Go. You have to be careful not to use so much paint. So I'm just going to color two stripes here and leave the rest on the right side alone. So there are actually some pillars holding this side of the building but I did not draw them in. Next, I'm going to color the roof. The roof is sort of like a red. And in this area here, I'm just going to fade to white. I'm going to wash my brush, take out the excess clean water and just let it fade. Wash it again. So you can see this gradual fade there. Let me color this sheltered area first. This is like a blue color, although I mixed too much ultramarine. So I'm just going to go in and color the black areas now. Same thing here, I'm just going to wash my brush and let it fade into nothing, into the white. I'm going to go in and touch up with some ultramarine for the blue part here. Not too much. And here as well. Go down a bit. The bottom of this roof is very dark, so I will use the dark wash again. And I will stop here this part as well. Light shed, the light is coming from this side so this is a bit darker here. I'm going to stop here for this part. Maybe this part I will get in some of the blue. Link it all the way up. so that I can get the contrast to um, show between this building and the sky there. So this is the ground here. By the way, the brush I'm using is the Russian made Navskaya brush. I have reviewed it in another video, so you might want to check it out. I'm just going to leave all these windows here just white.
make it a bit darker notice here the paint is drawing into two tones so I'm just gonna wash my brush and go in with the color again just to make sure that the gradation is more gradual and that's it for this sketch no details here and it just fades to white with some lines indicating the roof lines not much detail in the background colors in the center and fade off to the color and fade off i mean fade the colors to white and fade the details to white on this side here that's all there is to this technique it's not very difficult so next time when you are sketching outdoors you can just use this technique that's all for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more sketching tips, techniques, art book reviews, art product reviews. And also if you find this video helpful, you can share it with your friends who like sketching as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.